Hello, and welcome to the 6-1 Notes. Um, this is uh, the start of Chapter 6. Um, it's the study of polygons. Um, and a polygon is a many-sided figure. Uh, we'll write that down here in a second. Um, but this section is about angles of polygons. Okay, so we're going to be able to figure out the, uh, the sum of the exterior angles and the sum of the interior angles. Uh, but let's go ahead and start off with some vocabulary before we uh, begin. Um, so the word polygons, okay, is a many-sided figure. So I'm going to come in here and say that this is a many-sided figure. Okay, and uh, the way we can tell what a polygon is, it has more than three sides. So a figure, so a figure with more than three sides. Okay, so a triangle is a polygon. Okay, it has three sides, so it's considered a polygon. But let's go ahead and talk about um, an, something else that we need to write in here. Uh, there's a special type of polygon, and the special type of polygon that we have is called a regular polygon. So put that up here, regular polygon. I forgot to put that on the notes. Um, and that is a polygon where all sides and all angles are congruent. Okay, so uh, the other thing that we want to talk about is uh, concave and convex polygons. So let's take a look at what concave is. Not to be confused with my friend Bobby Cave, but it is a polygon that has a cave to it, okay? So a polygon with a cave. I'm going to write that. A polygon, whoops, a polygon that is caved in. Okay, so here's an example of that. If I were just to draw, say, a figure like this that has more than three sides and it has a cave going into it, okay, this is a concave polygon. Okay, there is a cave here. It caves in. Caves in. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and draw another example. Uh, let's say I have a figure like this. Um like any sort of figure here that has a cave to it. I don't know, I'm just drawing anything, but you have a cave, all right? Something that's going into the figure, all right? Uh, and then that leaves us with convex. We'll primarily be dealing with convex polygons, okay? But convex means that there's no cave, okay? No cave, no body cave, my friend Bobby, okay? Um, and so, you know, just something like a triangle would be a convex polygon, okay? A square would be a convex polygon, okay? Um, you know, a trapezoid would be a convex polygon. There's no cave in, okay? Nothing caves in. Even though, you know, it may look like you have some small angles, like here and here, they don't cave in, okay? So um, we'll be primarily dealing with convex polygons, but uh, we have some, uh, some interesting formulas for um, what we know about the angles of a polygon. The first one I'm going to talk about is the sum of the interior angles, and then we'll do the sum of the exterior angles. And so what that means, uh, the sum of the interior angles, I have a formula, okay? And so a polygon... A polygon whoops, with n sides, okay, has, has this formula for the sum of interior angles, and that's the quantity n minus 2 times 180, okay? So if you think about it, let's think of an example, okay, of like a triangle. So if we wanted to find the sum of the interior angles of a triangle, then we would say that n is equal to 3, Okay, we plug that into our formula, and we get 3 minus 2 times 180. Okay, and we all know that the answer is going to be 180. Um, so we get one, 3 minus 2 is 1 times 180, which just gives us 180 degrees. 
Okay, so this, um, you know, this is a formula that allow us to figure this out. Um, and so, but I do want to do um, what's called the sum of exterior angles. So I'm going to draw a five-sided figure, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and just draw a line on the bottom like this, a line going up, a line going like this, um, a line coming up like that, and then a line going like that. So it kind of looks like a like a baseball, like a home plate of a baseball, baseball field. Um, and so I'm just going to do uh, what we call exterior angles, okay? And I'm going to draw angles, lines coming out like this, like this, like that, like this, and like this, okay? And so each of these angles, I'm going to call them angles 1, 2, 3, uh, 4, and 5, okay? If I were to take the sum of those angles then I would get this. If I took angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 plus angle 4 plus angle 5, all of those angles would add up to 360 degrees. Okay, and this would work for any polygon. So sum of exterior angles, I'm going to write this. Always, always add up to 180, I'm sorry, 360 degrees. Okay, always. Doesn't matter how many sides, doesn't matter about anything. Always add up to 100, 360 degrees. Okay, that's the sum of exterior angles. Okay, so let's go ahead and answer some questions. It says, the find the sum of the measures of the interior angles of each convex polygon. So I want you to notice that um, it says we want to find the sum of the measures of the interior angles. So I want to use this formula right here, okay? And so uh, let's go ahead and just answer this question. Uh, we want to find the sum of the angles in a nonagon. Well, a nonagon is a nine-sided figure, so that has nine sides, okay? So that means that n is equal to 9. Okay, so I plug that into my formula. I take 9 minus 2, multiply it by 180. Okay, that's going to give me 7 times 180. And that's going to give me a measure of 1,260 degrees. Okay, and that's if we added up all of those angles. Okay, if it has 9 sides, it's going to have 9 angles, and all those angles added up will give me 1,260 degrees. Okay, let's do the same thing for a heptagon. Now, a heptagon is a, is a seven-sided figure. Okay, so I'm going to write a seven-sided figure. Okay, so seven sides. Um, that means that n is going to be equal to seven. Okay, so I'm going to plug that into my formula. I'm going to take 7 minus 2 times 180, okay, which is just going to give me 5 times 180. And 5 times 180 is 900 degrees. Okay, so if you took a heptagon, if you took a 7-sided figure and added up all those angles, then you would get 900 degrees, okay? So now let's go ahead and let's apply this to a picture and help us uh, answer these questions. And um, on number three, it says, find the measure of each interior angle. Now, the first thing that I need to see about this uh, polygon is that this has four sides. So n is equal to four, okay? This is four sides. Um, that also, you know, notice that when you have a four-sided figure, you have four angles, okay? So here's what we know, all right? If I take, if I wanted to find the sum of all these angles... So I'm going to plug it into my formula, and I'm going to get 4 minus 2 times 180, okay, which is, going to, which is going to give me 2 times 180, which is just going to give me 360 degrees. Okay, so if I add up all these angles, then I'm going to get 360 degrees. Let's just go ahead and do that. Um, so if I add up all of these angles, okay, this angle plus this angle and this angle and this angle, they'll add up to 360. Okay, 
Um, but in order to find what these angles are, I need to find what x is. But I can set up that equation to help me solve for x. Let's go ahead and do that. So I, that gives me 2x plus 20 um, plus 3x minus 10 plus 2x minus 10 plus 2x. I'm just adding up all the angles and setting them equal to 360 degrees. Okay, so let's go ahead and combine our, all of our like terms. We get 2 plus 3 is 5 um, plus 2 is 7 plus 2 again is 9, so that gives me 9x. Okay, and then 20 minus 10 is 10 minus another 10 just gives me 0. So let's go ahead and let me write 9x over here. 9x is just going to equal 360 degrees, okay? And so uh, what I can do here is divide each side by 9 and 9. So x is going to go and give me 40. Okay, so I know that x is equal to 40. So because I found that x is 40... Then I'm going to go ahead and figure out what L, M, N, and P are, okay, just because I now I know what X is. So let's come in here, and I'm going to say that angle L is equal to, oops, let me fix that. L is equal to uh, 2 times 40 plus 20, okay, so that's going to give me 80 plus 20. So that's going to give me 100 degrees. So angle L is equal to 100 degrees. Okay, angle M is going to be 3 times 40 minus 10. So that gives me 120 minus 10, which gives me 110. Okay, so that's what angle M is. Okay, um, and then angle N is going to be 2 times 40 minus 10, which is going to give me 80 minus 10, which gives me 70. That's angle N. Okay, that's degrees. And then angle P is equal to 2 times X is 2 times 40. So that's just going to give me 80. So angle P is equal to 80 degrees. All right. So what I want you guys to do now is I want you guys to use that same idea here with number four. Okay, now I'll go ahead and just give you that this is a six-sided figure. Okay, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six sides. So I'm going to come over here number four, and I'm going to put that n is equal to six. Okay, now you need to solve on your own. All right, and I'm going to be checking this in class. Okay, so solve that on your own, number four. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this next one. It says, find the measures of each interior angle of each regular polygon. So, what I want to do is just find the measure, I want to know the measure of each interior angle of each regular polygon. So, it's a regular polygon, meaning that all sides and all angles... Are congruent. Okay, so I'm going to use that idea to help me with this. So number five, okay, is a quadrilateral. That's four-sided figures. So here's what I'm going to do. Okay, I know that I have n equals four because I have four sides. Okay, and this is a four-sided fig four figure. So I'm going to plug that into my formula. I'm going to find the total sum of my angles. So I'm going to say that one, no, I'm going to do one, that four minus two times 180, okay, that's going to give me 2 times 180, which is going to give me 360, okay? So if I add up all the angles in a quadrilateral, they're all going to be 360 degrees. But if all my angles are congruent, that means they're all going to be the same. So I can just take 360 and divide that by the number of angles that I have, which is 4, okay, and I get that because n is equal to 4, then that's going to give me that each angle in that regular polygon is 90 degrees. Okay, and that's really, you know, what a square is. Okay, a square is a regular quadrilateral, all right? It's where all sides are congruent, okay? All angles are 90 degrees. That's what a square is, okay? So that's number five. 
All right, let's take a look at number six. Number six is the Pentagon. And the Pentagon is a five-sided figure. So this is N equals five. Okay, this is a five-sided figure. So five sides. Okay, much like the building in Washington, D.C. called the Pentagon because it has five sides. Now, um, I want you to do this on your own. Okay, and I will be checking this in class. So follow the example in number five to try and figure this one out. Maybe you should rewind if you need to. Okay, find the measures of each exterior angle of each regular polygon. Okay, so find the measures of each exterior angle. Okay, so this is an exterior angle. Okay, we want to find the exterior angle. And that's when um, the exterior angle theorem says that all... Um, or wait, the sum of angles is equal to 360 degrees, okay? Now, if we know that we have a regular polygon, then that means that all of the exterior angles are going to be congruent, okay? So, but we have over here in number seven, we have an octagon. Now, an octagon, the octagon of doom, or the octagon for MMA, all right, that's when we have an eight sides, okay? So that's N is equal to eight, all right? So here's what I know. I know that I have eight of them. I'm going to take eight times the number of sides, and that's going to, add, that's going to give me 360 degrees. And if I divide that by eight and that by eight, then N is going to equal... 45, okay, so our answer here is 45 degrees, okay, um, and so then in number 8, this is a nonagon, remember this is a nine-sided figure, okay, so a nine-sided figure, okay, and so what I want you to do here is the same thing, I'm going to give you that n is equal to 9, and I want you to answer this question on your own. So, on your own. Okay? So now, um, you've got three problems that I need you to do. I need you to do number 4, I need you to do number 6, and I need you to do number 8. So please have those done by class. These um, examples should help you with those. Um, and so I hope you enjoyed this video on 6-1. Thank you. See you soon. Bye.